Fortunately, though, no one was seriously hurt there. Kirk Clyde is with us right now. Right. Glad to see you're doing the weather because this guy was moonlighting as an ice cream scooper, but, <laughs> but that's later. That's so, later. Yeah, so stick around Absolutely. for that. Absolutely. You know, it's a good thing that uh, no one was hurt. Those thunderstorms can have tremendous is lift. Is that where that turbulence came well, from? Well, what happens sometimes is most of the time in the atmosphere, you'll have vertical lift or depression at only, mm -hmm. you know, about a centimeter, a couple centimeters per second. But what you can have sometimes with the thunderstorms is vertical, not horizontal, that bl wind that blows at you, but vertical wind. And that can be a hundred miles an hour straight up. So that's uh, conceivably what could happen. We've got a disturbance off Florida that brought some areas amazing over a foot of rain in South Florida. That is rough stuff there. It sure is. But here in the west, a weak low to our north is still trying to hold on. But our weather is starting to stabilize as we head towards the weekend. We were almost as warm as Seattle today. In the southeast, in Florida in particular, as we talked about their weather, anything but stable. Here's the way it has been over the last couple of hours. What we've got is one little uh, surface depression here off the east coast, one off the west coast, and some of those thunderstorms, especially on the west coast of Florida, delivered near Fort Myers, 13 inches of rain. That is unimaginable. It's like being in the shower outside. What we've got in the world else going on? Well, we've got one tropical storm that's dissipating. We've got a new hurricane in the Pacific. It's Cosme, but it doesn't look like it's going to be doing much of anything to worry about. However, when you go around the corner, some wild weather taking place. They've got, of course, the Tour de France continuing, and France is very, very hot. Rough time. You get an idea of where a front is through Scotland and Ireland, but France today, temperatures in the 90s for almost the whole country, up to 45 Celsius. In southern Spain, that's temperatures of 114 degrees in Spain. That's what you'd expect here in Death Valley. Maybe a shower, but I got a hunch most of what you're seeing in California here is Virga. That's rain that doesn't make it to the ground. It is in Arizona, though. So they've got a well-entrenched monsoonal flow bringing Pacific moisture on up into the southwest. As we go up into the northwest, look at these. Some pretty big thunderstorms from that little low that's been hanging on. They even had a couple of areas in the central Oregon with flash flood advisories that were in effect until nine o'clock this evening but they have ended what we've got here is a big area of high pressure in the Strait of Juan de Fuca what a neat name right there in the corner here Cape Flaherty up in uh, Washington State and that's kind of keeping the low at bay but it's hanging on coastal fog and for us sunshine is going to be the rule our temperatures will be warming up a little bit today Sacramento Executive Airport only 87 for a high the official high was 90 89 in Stockton into the 90s in Modesto but Portland in Oregon, how about 94, unseasonably hot for them. Another warm day, as we mentioned in Seattle. They beat us. They were up to 92, 81 in Los Angeles, well down to the south. 85 is their normal high. Not many thunderstorms reported in the Sierra, but as we showed you on radar, certainly once you get up into the Cascades, there are a few. Here's the low that's been spinning during the afternoon, the warmth of the sun, and those storms just rise on up. Coastal fog is going to keep temperatures real cool. Temperatures uh, generally say from the Eureka area all the way down to the Monterey Bay will probably stay in the 60s right along the coast. We've dropped down to 70 in Sacramento and to the 60s in Fairfield, but Modesto still remains the hot spot as they have been the last few nights. Barometric pressure, it's on the way up. That means our weather is going to stabilize. This is actually fairly high barometric uh, pressure reading for this time of the year. Winds out of the southwest, so a little bit of a delta flow, but probably not as much as today. It'll kick back up a little bit on the weekend, but fairly quiet weather is most of the eastern Pacific dominated by high pressure. Look at the Gulf of Alaska low way back here off the Aleutians, and here's Hurricane Cosme, so about the only problem with this storm. Say, say you won the lotto tonight, don't take your new yacht here off the coast of Baja for a couple of days. Other than that, not a lot to worry about with uh, Cosme here in the Pacific. Across the country, some big thunderstorms along the frontal boundary, but look, no watches and warnings to deal with, but some big hail was reported in portions of Kansas and Nebraska. We'll show you this in our worst weather segment coming up at the end of the newscast. Looking good, though, in California and Nevada. Temperatures falling into place for this evening. It looks like we're going to stay in the 60s again. Of course, once you get into the foothills, maybe we'll see some temperatures in the 50s across America. About what you'd expect for the middle of July. Temperatures, big change from what it was a couple of weeks ago in the Great Lakes. Look at that, the 70s. As we get closer to home here, you can find the 70s up in the sea 
Sierra, the 80s for the foothills, and probably the lower 90s for us. Not bad along the Bay Area, although you will be dealing with some fog. West winds picking up, maybe a small craft advisory needed for the bays and delta tomorrow, and coastal fog pretty much all the way along the state. Don't have any showers for Lake Tahoe. Looks like it'll be a good day if you're trying to get an early start on the weekend. South winds to 15 when you get further away from the Delta. 92 in Sacramento. A couple of degrees warmer in the day. Maybe a 10% chance there'll be enough instability for a thunderstorm in places like Amador and Calaveras County. And in the San Jose, 81, just 72 in San Francisco. As far as the air quality goes, we're right where we were yesterday, 67, but with stable weather, it looks like that air quality is going to deteriorate a little bit. So with nice weather, here's the way the five-day shapes up for you. With temperatures actually a few degrees below normal, why not just take mass transit or maybe even walk or bike to work and spare the air? So I like it. Low stress weather. And I figure you got enough things in life to worry about, so why worry about the weather? But if we wanted to stay cool... We've got some great ways to do it. I did. I put my, put my daughter to work. Although I think she thought it was playing. <laughs> It'll be coming up a little later. And she found some really cool spots. She did. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Kirk. Okay. John. Well, Kirk, if you take your daughter by the water or the lake, be careful. And with $50 million at stake, Californians are lining up for their lotto tickets. We'll have some expert advice on picking the right numbers. And looking for ways to beat the heat? Two of our resident experts take a tour of the coolest places in town. And getting more, stay tuned to the 10 o'clock news hour. <laughs> or Alexis or something else. Yeah. Just ahead, believe it or not, Kirk Clyde putting his daughter to work. And she seemed to have a pretty good time at it. Find out the coolest places in town now. Here it's the middle of summer, and if the heat is starting to get to you and your kids, well, we might have some help. Kirk Clyde enlisted the help of his daughter Kylie to find some of the places that are really cool. Man, that thing is weird. If you get too hot, look at it. Oh, it's street art. I know some places to go. Wow, if it's even too hot underground, well, you can always sit on a block of ice. Oh, now this is cool. Am I at the right age to start ice skating? You're at a great age to start ice skating. Any age is wonderful. Do you think I can teach my daddy how to skate? I'll bet you can. Um, now what I want you to do is how about let's start I'm taking step, 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 and glide. Step, 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 and glide. Could you, could you hold step, my hands and yeah. show me? A step, you're moving. Step, 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 step glide. Step, and glide. Oh, am I doing okay? You're doing this fine. Put your feet together and lift one foot up oh, into the back. Oh. Ah. oh, you did so much better than me. I'm your teacher. That's why. Oh. She keeps on falling. Okay. What were my grades for the day, teacher? Two A's and a B. Okay, I'll keep working on it. <laughs> I say she found a couple of cool spots. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, tomorrow we continue our uh, quest for cool. Included in our uh, exploits tomorrow, we'll visit a cool cemetery. A cool wanna, cemetery? You know, like there's such a thing as a hot cemetery? That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> Your Don't daughter is so cute with that little gap. Well, those it's teeth fine. are coming in, and then it's, uh, I think I'll have to use the money that she's making for doing these stories, and that'll pay for the orthodontics yeah. bills oh, we later did on. Yeah. Well, you'll see that on Friday. <laughs> Union shop. Yes. Kirk, thanks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Kirk. Grant Napier is standing by live with a late sport. Back over to Sharon. Still to come, who makes the best ice cream sundaes in town? Well, we don't want to brag. Uh, yeah, we do. Kirk wants to brag. He did some. He beat some pretty heavy competition today. That story and more when the 10 o'clock news hour continues. You got it. Sharon? Yeah, this one's going to make you hungry. Ice cream, ice cream everywhere. Yeah, the Sacramento Zoo's ice cream safari is coming up this Saturday evening. But as a preliminary event at downtown Plaza, media teams took part 
in a contest to build the tallest Sunday. Yeah. This is more work than it looks. Oh. Can you tell me what you're building here? More! More! I what, what was that? It's, it's some kind of California right golden bear. I don't like that. Where's my timer? Where's my timer? Where's my timer? Ice Cream Sunday Award. Let's present it over here. Can you hold on to it, okay? Yeah, thank you. There we go. You can hold on. Oh, winner! Ladies and gentlemen, the tallest. Thank you, Hardeen. What a job! It's a winner! Ah, it's a winner!